What's up, everybody? It's the homie truth teller, the street reporter. And a lot of people always be asking me about like King Von's situation with Lil Tim and Quando Rondo. I done spoke on that a lot of times. I still feel like that's a sticky situation to be honest with you because it's a coach uh, don't talk to the police and keep your mouth quiet, which I understand that. But that kind of affects King Von case because King Von had a lot of people with him that day. And, um, you know, Lil Tim and King Von, they didn't meet each other before. They don't know each other. So that night is really going to be the main thing that kind of they're going to need to put Tim away. And I'm not sure if they're going to be able to put Tim away. It's a lot of shit. Catch that uh, camera, man. Ambulance and shit. We actually downtown right now, as you can see. Come check it out, Kevin, man. Come on, baby. Check it out, I think this is Tiffany's right here, man. They go get you some jewelry and shit. Look out for your lady and shit, man. But yeah, as you can see, I think it's gonna be hard to to to, to put Tim away on that case, and I'm gonna tell you why. Nobody's gonna be willing to get on the stand yeah, and testify, get you know, a testimony. Nobody's gonna be willing to tell the courtroom the stand their story. For some reason, people don't like talking. I understand that. Like I said, that shit gonna be hard. But in order to put Lil Tim away, somebody's gonna have to be on the stand and say, "Hey, look." They had a prior altercation. These niggas had beef with King Von. They was hawking him down. Some shit happened before the camera that y'all seen. This ain't just King Von walking and stealing on somebody and being a bully and aggressive. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not sure because Tim got me a little confused too, to be honest with you, because it's like he's almost being celebrated for killing this guy. You know, he's becoming famous for killing this guy. He's shooting a video that's dissing this guy, dissing all the old block. The man even got a shovel in the video. Like, how disrespectful can you be with that? Come on, baby, tell him. Like, how disrespectful can you be? That's the shit that kind of, like, confused me with the whole old block situation. But I'm going to keep you updated with this. I got a lot of sources that's close with this case that tell me that, um, it's gonna be hard to prosecute them, man. I even been hearing that the state might even drop this case, to be honest with you. I know you might not believe that, but that's what I've been hearing from people. But yeah, we're gonna go check it out. Come on, baby, look here, little boy. Oh, 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 I messed baby, tell it up. I got you, boy. You got it, boy. I got you, boy. But yeah, though, you know, we actually in Chicago right now, downtown. A lot of people always ask me why I come out here. Like I said in my last vlog, I, I love this place. It's, I just love coming out here, man. It's one of the dopest pizza places in Chicago. I come out here all the time and get me a slice of pizza from this place, man. Look, now, I might not can't come no more because I just told y'all why I be going. But this is why I be going, man. We finna go get some pizza, man, y'all. Check it in. We gonna check back with y'all, man, in a second. Uh, I'll holler at y'all in a minute. Here but yeah, like I was saying, y'all, you know, the killings getting bolder and bolder in Chicago. Think about this. A seven-year-old little girl got a life shoplifted. Somebody stole that young lady's life, and I still don't like it. Uh, we seen rappers get shot hundreds of times, basically. You know, it's even dangerous down here, too, coming, man, you know? Even though it's downtown, it's safe and shit, but... Uh, you know, you sneak through here, some shit'll happen to you, man. Oh.